The aqueduct was built in the middle of the 18th century to bring fresh water from the Carioca River to the population of Rio de Janeiro. It is a typical example of colonial architecture and engineering. In the early history of Rio de Janeiro, the nucleus of the city was surrounded by swamps with water of bad quality, and fresh water had to be carried manually from streams located relatively far from the city. Since at least 1602 there had been plans to build a system of canals to bring water from the source of the Carioca River, located on Santa Teresa Hill, to Rio de Janeiro. Colonial authorities attempted to build canals, but the construction was always hampered by technical and financial difficulties. By the end of the 17th century there were only a few hundred meters of canalization completed. Construction of the first aqueduct was finished in 1723, and clean water flowed directly to a decorative Baroque fountain in Santo Antonio Square, to the relief of the people of Rio de Janeiro. The aqueduct was inaugurated in 1750. The most impressive feature of the aqueduct is the course that connects the hills of Santa Teresa and Santo Antonio, in today's Lapa neighborhood. This segment of the aqueduct spans 270 meters and consists of two stories of monumental arches 42 in total, with a maximum height of 17.6 meters.